because I would like to see a genuine wicket keeper there because I think that's a specialised job and they should have a specialist keeper. Gee, we saw one change forced on them. Stephen Fleming, stomach injury, he's out. Chris Gans, who's been missing a few games for the hamstring strains, back in as the captain. Within the Sehwag will be taking strike to Daryl Tuffy, an average of 33.7. Runs in axis of 2,000. And there is the little champion. 12,538 runs in 320 matches. So here we go. David Shepard waves to the scores. Play in the semi-final of the TVS Cup. Daryl Tuffy to Linda Saywag. And some movement. Mostly through the air. And the crowd are hyped up. They've been queuing outside. But there's a great atmosphere here for this match. Let's give her to a semi-final, is it? Bonus points have nothing to do with those fixtures, it's just whoever wins the match. And the one to say, well, away with the boundary, I think, yes. I'll move, I'm sure he needs some uh, medicine to put on his arms there. But the ground was pretty patchy there. That is gift for Ray in the Sehwag room outside the legs from there there's no grass there now look at Kyle Mills a good effort there he does look in pain well David Shepard calls it the wide he's been tough on lines this whole series I don't think he's taken much notice of the, the indicator lines three feet either side of the stumps oh, that's inside it oh no well, that's I'm sorry but I don't agree with that that's a full delivery that could be driven but we play in general batter friendly conditions here. Now that is a wild. <laughs> Not going to argue with that one. And that's on the money into the first over. India 7 for no wicket. Tall swing bowler as well from the Gulam Ahmed end. Now Sachin Tendulk is away straight away immediately off the mark. And this will check the pace of the outfield. Good chase from Lou Vincent, and they come back for three. Back to, to a ball moving away. Now Sachin Tendulkar runs the first one very hard. And the reason for that is that this surface, everybody knows, is going to deteriorate as the game goes on. You can see the soil coming off when Sachin Tendulkar was running on it. Yeah, they're good numbers. Away back with a point. That's four. You cannot bowl out there. India get another boundary. And they're 14 for no wicket. That was a very short delivery. And we're in the same arc, Very strong in that area. He's not going to spare anything that is going to be loose to him. Much more like the same way we're used to. <laughs> Once again. Good carry. I feel when the ball gets older, it's going to get all the more difficult for the batters really to stroke it around. Right over from Daryl Tuffy. 14 for no wicket. Right, that one does get up. And then Mills getting the odd ball to really leap. Hey, we're at Mills Day. Come on, boys. Daryl Tuffy. Fashion Tendulka. Well, the over before Kyle Mills was having a few problems and a discussion with Harry Harron about what was happening with the surface and skiddy when the front foot lands. How could you tell us the forward by looking, obviously? Go away! A good save down there, Daniel Vittori keeps him to two. That was a good run, Henry, by looking. It's, it's an interesting debate, I mean, they've just changed the rule, so where you your foot lands, and we just, uh, Sachin scored his first runs on the offside for the innings, I think it's changed the rule, so where your foot lands, it's a legal delivery, it doesn't matter if it's good for it, that doesn't make it a lot simpler, but... Because the bowlers, they want a uh, nice surface, nice grip from the surface when they're bowling. 
delivery. Good line from Daryl Tuffy. I think you're right, Manning. Neither person was wrong. It's just the way it is. A bold, but they'll pick up a single to look at quickly off the mark. Please scurry through for single. 22 for no You see a bit of cloud in the background there, and uh, it just drifted up in the last hour or so, and making it a bit more pleasant for the players. Oh! Edged. A bit extra bounce again. Big scores here. Great seeming bounce. The open face from uh, the Saywag. That's uh, got a bit of trouble a few times in the past. He wants to collect as many runs as he can in the first few overs. <laughs> this time he takes a single. Into the over. 25 for him. Black cat bowling. About that line of length. Come so close to the wicket, Stuffy. Well, just drifting now, legs up. They hurry through for a single. Good footwork from Tuffy. Andrew Merton's like with the footwork. Only one change in the Indian team today. Ajit Agarkar coming in place of uh, Ashish Nehra. Sarov Ganguly was uh, pretty thoughtful this morning, looking at the surface. What kind of team to go in with? It's the pads, it goes very fine. That's leg bias for India. Four runs. Crowd very happy. It doesn't matter the, which way the runs come. What the Indians need here is the scoreboard ticking. I was just thinking the crowd was, was getting a little quiet because there wasn't any boundaries coming. We had the two early on. We are at the Lal Bahadur Shastri Stadium, also known as the Fateh Maidan here in Hyderabad. Nicely punched straight down the pitch, and we get a single for that. Like the body language of Sachin Tendulkar today, looks a lot relaxed than he did at Bangalore and perhaps Mumbai as well, where perhaps there was the pressure of knowing a target, and invariably, there have been big targets for India to chase at this tournament. The trend of cricket after 48 long years will come to an end at this stadium. First test match being played 1955. Single. The last ball, 34 for no wicket. It's a hot, hard work here in Hyderabad for the key bowlers. Just uh, on about the fact of the Jew playing its part in the coastal cities, but not here in land. That's far. There was room on offer. And it went very quickly to the point boundary. No chance for Oram. And Verinda Sawag, well, he doesn't usually miss out on these. He just loves it there. Short and wide. It's not a big ground. And in a way, he didn't quite middle it. He's sort of got it more at the sort of bottom end of the bat. But if you're going to bowl there, Daryl Tuffy, that's what's going to happen. This time it's driven. That's a glorious drive. Run on the back foot. Last ball. This one on the front foot. Both very good to watch. <laughs> oh, you better believe it. That is class. One short and wide, and then he's wanted to get on the front foot because he probably thought the bowler was going to make an adjustment. Yes, he tried to swing it and get it up there and use the new ball. Yes, he just slightly over pitched. Not a lot. Not a lot in it. Not a bad ball. By any stretch of the imagination, that is just a class shot. Cut one for four, and then next ball, bang, through the covers. Shot again. Three consecutive boundaries for Sewa. Well, it's simply not good bowling. It's again short, and asked for the treatment. And if you're going to bowl this length, you're lucky it hasn't gone all the way for the maximum. This time it's just bounced a couple of times and gone into the fence. See, that sort of shot, you see both these opening batsmen 
Sovag and Tendolka, known to cut on the up and put it all the way for six. This occasion, a couple of bounces. Once the run, Tendulkar was a little late to react. 13 runs of that over, 47 for no wicket. Indians would be wondering about the shape of the ball. Why isn't it changed? <laughs> That's <laughs> what they know about rugby, Danny. <laughs> Given the charge, very unlike Tendulkar this day. But he'll get a couple of runs for the effort. And you just see he's being positive here because it's a new bowler at the crease and does not want Oren to settle. And this is a good move. He's used his feet a nice time and it's just bounced a bit and come back at him a little. I think uh, the intention is very good. Be positive, go over the top inside the first 15 overs and make the most of it. 50 runs partnership between these two. He's just playing differently today. This is the amazing thing about Tendulkar, he's realized this is a pitch where you can't really play shots on the front foot, on the up. Look at the movement here. He's gone on the back foot a long distance. Something that he won't do on good batting pitches, where the ball bounces consistent, where the ball comes onto the bat. The kind of adjustment he's quite capable of making very easily. Big adjustment at like that. It's gone high up in the air. Lou Vincent is attempting an almost impossible catch. And what's worth has gone to four. 55 for no wicket. Lebanon was gone, 55 for no wicket. Kyle Mills continues. <laughs> That's a great shot. First boundary for Tendulkar. Yeah, I was just looking at the scoreboard there. That's right, Sanjay. It's his first boundary in 32 deliveries. It's quite unique for the little master inside the first 15 overs. You'd think by now, having faced 32 deliveries, he would have got one a bit earlier. But that is unique. That is the class of the man. It's on about that middle and off stunt that we're just talking about is where a bowler wants to be. And then he goes and does that because... Fine leg is up the Tory, and there is no fine leg, it's a deep backward square. Sweeper is Craig McMillan out there. You now, I think about Lou Vincent, you know, the possibilities of changing the state of a game. And Pune, he put down a real straightforward chance off Andrew Simons, off Chris Cairns. Hyderabad blessed with well, the big game that decides the finalist. Turn over is gone, 62 for no wicket. It's incredible. Every little nook and cranny, little space taken up to watch this all-important sudden death match. And again, wide and short. And that's what happens. It just races to the fence. Too much room. In fact, Tendulkar had to actually follow the ball. He wasn't looking to hit hard. I think the effort was really to get close to the ball more than anything else. And once that's done, it's a small ground, got the 30 yard circle restriction. You can see that it's too much width. Point fielder has no chance with a flashing square cut. Another one, this time to the right of Chris Harris. Same results, and bowling continues to be a challenge for Jacob Oram. These guys on the cover circle are right back there on that 30 meter line. It just shows you the power and the timing. He's wanted to go up, yes it was in the air, but he was always trying to go up and underneath. Watch the bottom hand, you see up and over. Wanted to get underneath. In fact, he, I think he wanted more elevation than that. And that's why the bowler was interested in sort of uh, cries of anguish. And Harris, well, if he caught that, he'd be out of the moon. A oh, very fortunate Tendulkar. The fielder was lurking around the corner. I just wonder whether he was aware that he was that close to the bat. 
He had actually played a scoop leg side shot for a four. Just bounced in front of Kyle Mills and from the reaction, Hendulkar is well aware that that was a close shave, very close to Kyle Mills. That's the second catching position that Chris Keynes has for New Zealand, apart from that first slip, the wide leg slip. He's going to look for two. Chris Nevin is quickly on the ball. 73 for Norway. A run rate of 5.62 at the moment. Another run picked up in that area by Tendulkar. Time for a commentary change here. It's going to be Lakshman Shivarama Krishnan with Jeff Lawson. In the air and safe again. Sachin Tendulkar goes over the top and picks up yet another boundary. This ball boundary, Tendulkar. Not the difficult of shots for him. But this is a difficult batting surface, the ball not coming on, but he made the adjustment of waiting for it and making sure he gets the elevation over the man at cover and always showing the tendency to attack the bowler right from the first over. game for the Indians they have to win this one and the little master is already at work and a good all-round contribution to the black caps performances he follows singles off the over 104 for now Defensive methods, quicker three, providing the batsman with the pace that he requires. Just good enough. Sevan, it's good touch. He's not going to get the placement wrong. These two look devastating now at the moment. The deviation. Eddie Nova is gone. 1 1 0. Oh, boy, that one jumped off a length. It may be one of those pitches where the slower you bowl, the more you get out of it. This ball's been out in the deep, so they saunter through to get another single. Look at that 11 for 7. Let's go! Chris Cairns. The bats didn't have time to get through. If it beats him, it's uh, probably two or three. And this time they do hurry through for a single. 113 for no score. Takes the easy single once again. And Dorker tries to work that for another single. Doesn't succeed. It's 115 for none. Sachin Tendulkar is gone. All the way. What a lovely stroke that was off the floor of the little champion. Right from the middle of the floor. And he's decided he's not going to stay. No bowler. Oh, this is right on the top draw. Little beauty. Middled it. Head down at the point of contact. And then he looks up just as it's left the blade. Lovely piece of timing. And a lovely piece of timing there as well. He'd already decided what he was going to do. This is when he makes it very difficult for the bowlers to adjust their line and length. But there was nothing wrong with the previous, previous delivery. He did it for a six. There was nothing wrong with this one. 
placed it beautifully, Sachin Tendulkar. He moves on to 68. Daniel Vittori starts over, and that's a 50 for the in the server. This is 12.50 in one international. Looks a happy man. He wasn't very happy in the previous game he played against Australia. The feet weren't moving. But he's got things right in this match. This 50 will give him a lot of confidence. Look at that strike rate. 95.6. He's been pretty good. One of the last ball, 22 gone, 132 for Nanin. Which is very good for any bowler. Shot out, they got some room there for Sachin Tendulkar. Bounces onto that one, another boundary for him. Poor delivery, but to go. Close. With this pace, you're going to bowl this amount of work. Well, I'm sorry, it's good night. He's just sitting up and saying, spank me please. Exactly, I agree with you. Danny this time. He's played it up in the air. There is a field at the air. And it's one bounce ball. Another boundary for the little master. There they come. What's that, Jim? Breakfast, pal. I'll tell you what, this guy must have had it as well. He is on fire, Tendolka. As Jacob Oren, the outstretched hand, just short, just inside. What is 80 of 70 balls? Hey! One more for Sachin Tendulkar, 23 overs gone, 143 for none India. Just not quite shown that ability against Australia. Now, it's really that's a mental block, still a, a bit of a layover from Johannesburg in the World Cup. And down the track, and they got enough on it and kept it down. And John Wright, well, even particularly pleased the way. What a fantastic start this has been for the Indians. Better you'll bowl on the surface. No run of the last ball, 25 gone, 147 for The Indians, 147. That is a short delivery. He's passed away to mid wicket boundary. What is Daniel Vittori bowling here? I fail to understand. Well, he's a little frustrated a couple of times and has bowled a little bit too fast and too flat. On this occasion, try to give it air and want to bowl slower, like Mahinder Singh has been saying. Just Nice little bit of flight and goal, but he's dragged it down badly. You hardly ever see Vittori do that. Sticking in a little bit too short, and that's what can happen. Races across the practice wickets. Here in Hyderabad, they are agreement, and you lose your captain, specifically Stephen Fleming, who is just such a good captain, knows the side well, knows when to change the bowlers. You can just see it in this New Zealand side, a little bit flat. The, you know, they're going to give themselves an uppercut to get around this one. Oh! 26 hey. overs gone, it's 158 without loss. Last ball of the 27th over. For a couldn't time it too well. But he'll get a single. 162 for none in there. Just tell now, his sights are on that 100, just to work it around, get a single, a couple. This one's gone down the third man as well. India now 165 for now. Oh, great bowling, hey! Very good bowling. It's sensibly played. The first run was run very hard. He wants the second one. We're in the Sava, sends him away. Now that could be danger for India. Very lucky Sachin Tendulkar. He looks pretty disappointed there. The chat about it is that, uh, yes, he was coming to the danger end, but it's a small ground, and Mills has made pretty good ground to the ball. So in a way, it was the right call. It just happened to have to be a little bit earlier. Gone down the track again, and just short, comfortably short. And that's from just posted 171. And going like a train is... Rindasawa! And Sachin Tendulkar just got into all parts, and Arnold is up. It is just too easy for the little master. 36, one day and 100. What is this man made of? I wonder. 
320th One Day International. 3600 of just 87 balls. 12 boundaries and a 6. In this 100 for Sachin Tendulkar. Now this is what uh, we don't want the people coming on the ground, but this is the way he got it. Looks a happy man. He missed out against the Australians by just 11 runs. Looks very satisfied here. And the skipper is out of his chair. 36 one day hundreds. Astonishing. And again, just short of that man Harris. He is dynamic there at backward point. But again, it's just such a pleasure to watch this little fella. All parts of the ground and in total control here today in Hyderabad. You can see, just sense the Indians, that little bit more wanted. And the New Zealanders, you know, they're, they're injury problems. And okay, it has to be said they've got some issues too with Pakistan. Just around the corner. But you've got to switch on. You've got to forget about everything else the previous day or so and get on with the business. And again, it's just, well, it's a run at will. It is just anywhere you like. 182 for none after 30. Played it in there, Sachin Tendulka. There is a fielder down there, Jacob Oram. And he gulps it. So that's the first wicket for the Kiwis. That is what they were looking for. 182 for one. After 30.1 overs. And Sachin Tendulkar, after getting his 3600, wanted to put his pad on the foot on the pedal. Look at that dust coming out of that surface. This is what was expected. And that is why he couldn't time it too well. Hold it straight to mid off. He's gone for 102. One champion goes out, comes in another one. 8,934 runs in one day international. Average of almost 44. Oh my God. Oh my God. The batter in the middle. His uh, tendency to step down the pitch, even to fast bowlers. His impression was a lot more in this innings. And the result there for everyone to see. 19 overs to go, 187 for one. Despite the layoff, despite the injury, despite the hospitalization, he seems to be in pretty good touch. That is problems. No, it's not. It's not easy to sight these shots because generally you look searching for the ball to the outside. Came very fast onto the bat and Kyle Mills just couldn't judge it. Great luck for Virin the Sehwag. What kind of a shot is that? Oh, I don't know what Chris Keynes was trying to tell. Really, that was extremely lucky for William de Sehwag. He's playing another good innings. 180, 190 for one. Back his rhythm, get his confidence back. It's gone fine. And a full length dive by Kyle Mills. Saves at least three runs for his team. There was also a definite possibility for a second run. Here is a man diving full length, sprawled on on the turf there, on the boundary boundary line, and yet he's managed to restrict it to just one. Mm, 193 for one. Has been called wide this time, I think, Hari Haran. Got a confirmation from David Shepard, who is looking at the square leg umpire. Oh yes indeed, it was way above his shoulder, definitely above his head. And he did get confirmation from David Shepard, as he should. The leg umpire is in a better position to really judge. It's not a, it's not a very easy call to make, Sanjay, because to judge whilst on a standing position. Should be four. He's found the gap. Welcome boundary for India. Brings up the 200. 200 for one.
to international cricket with the bat for him. Daniel Vittori, oh! a direct hit. Wonder what would have been the result if it was a direct hit. But that was an interesting... Yeah, it would have been very interesting, very close indeed. But Daniel Vittori, a left-hander, he had to really run around it and then make the throw behind him. That's what really worked in Sehwag's favour. Off balance, what did it matter, it didn't hit. He's going to look for two, Ganguly. And he'll get it quite comfortably in the end. Midon and a deep mid-wicket were trying to converge on the ball, but it was played at the right pace to get two runs. It's another run, will keep the strike, the Indian captain, 205 for one. Six overs for 26, his first effort. It's up in the air, just falling short and messed up. It's neither this nor that for Jacob Orup. Welcome runs for Ganguly. Well, he thought about the catch, went for it, eventually found it was falling short and couldn't quite adjust. Just in that no man's land, he found himself in a terrible position, Oram. With the ball landing just next to you, it's always difficult to stop, especially when you're charging into it. So that's four for Ganguly. So the bat change has helped. Well, I haven't seen so many bat changes ever in one innings. You had Birinda Sehwak changing his bat. That's more runs. But this is only conjecture. I can only guess as to the reason, but could it be different surfaces require different bats of different weights the nature of the ball but whatever it is it's working today for India last ball of the over for Kyle Mills it's gone fine take a ball under pressure does well 213 for one Even the charge with a great deal of success. That is sensational. And in fact, just about went out of the ground. Got the dancing shoes on, skipped down the track, thought it was the nightclub. Well, it might be a little later on because I tell you, that is top draw. Beautiful timing and technique. Forcing him to ball his shot. It's been great batting by Seba on a pitch, which has not uh, been pretty good for batting. Edged, and another boundary. Seba won't mind it. He hasn't got runs in the recent past. He picks up his 11th boundary. It's 225 for one. Ah! No ball, good slide, Roy. Really. There's a wee shout. Not out. 229 for one. Chip. Now, and again, he just leans back and says, oh, look, I'll help myself. Daryl Tuffy just smashes another boundary. Well, this presence in the Indian team has made a lot of difference. Saro Ganguly coming for the last match against the Australians. And the batting looked good, even though he got 37. But here, the boys looking positive because the captain leads from the front. And what a shot. Not the easiest one to play. Just marginally short of length on the middle and off, just stands back. Oh, look at it, hand-eye coordination. What a player. And he's gone over the top, wide of the fielder. Boundary in the over. It's going all well for India. It's 240 for one. And this was the last ball of the previous over, just coming up. Saura Ganguly. Goes past the strike rate over 100, giving the charge, not timing it too well, but the placement was straight. The middle was far too wide. Chris Kane's the man. Tuffy disappointed. Oh, it's been a terrible day at the office for Daryl Tuffy. That'll be his 100. The sixth one in one day international cricket. And Brenda Sivag announces his arrival to form. Magnificent innings under the circumstances. Well, he 
They can't bowl that line, especially the man, very square in the leg side. Oh, Ganguly is a smart bowler. They just pick up one, and the problem is Ganguly is the serious problem. Ari Harin, man in own sake, and the country's sake, it's not too much of a bother. For the moment, I think he will carry on with the runner. One bounce. Seba on the road. He's been absolutely outstanding. He's been outstanding, but really, this is not a good piece of bowling. It's a nice little thigh, high, full toss, and it's just going to disappear every time. And brings up the 250 for India. And that's just a real gimme. Close to no ball. No, they carry on. 40 overs gone. 250 for one. Styrus will start. But Gangobi will keep going in boundaries. Just straying in line. It's bearing a rich dividends. Well, it doesn't matter who Chris Keynes brings on at the moment. Ball is just disappearing. And that is the problem for New Zealand. India are dealing in boundaries. This partnership is just running away from them, as did the opening one with a capital B. And still a chance. And it's all the way down the throat. Tuffy, he is delighted. That is a good catch. He's had to come in, the big fella. Well, the Indian caught captain once again getting out of the 30s. But he had to go for it. Plenty of batting left to follow. Good catch by Daryl Tuffy. Not the easiest. With this kind of background that we have in Hyderabad, Ganguly gone for 33, it's 256 for 2. Yuvraj Singh coming ahead of Rahul Dravid. Well, the state is set for him. Sebal looks right. Look for 2. We'll get it comfortably. It's 258 for 2. And he's got the fence now. Strong forearms bring the out, plays with a heavy bat. And when he strikes them in the sweetest form of the bat, it's going to race away. That's the difference. The man has started to find his form, started to find his feet. There's such a small boundary here. And again, well, he's just got all of this. Has it gone all the way? That is out of here. All the way for the maximum. What a superb shot. 269 for two in here. Suddenly, Clara to pick up singles. There's two shots you were talking about, Danny. The four and the six. Danny Vittori's line was more or less the same. Well, next one over. The vacant area of slip. You can't see the field of that. That is very difficult. But again, Chris Cairns says the captain won't be happy because, again, the length is wrong in these death overs. And that was an intentional shot. Just watch it. The uppercut. He realizes the man, the third man, was far too square. And any bat he got onto that. Here's the wicketkeeper. It's going to be a boundary. And that takes him to his best ever score. He called his best ever score in one international. 126. That was against England. And again. Don't fetch that. It is all going. The smiles are there. Straight, high and handsome. And caught. Jacob Oram, during the Sehwag's innings, comes to an end. So another Indian batsman, after getting to 100, has been caught in the field. And what a magnificent innings it has been. 134 balls, that 130. Well, I too, Sanjay, thought that was going out of the fence. But not so, didn't quite get all of it. Sehwag goes 283 for three. Rahul Dravid has walked out. 
Six overs to go now. 284 for three. 284 for three. Chris Harris takes the catch at point. And Yuvraj Singh has to walk back. Some cold comfort for Kyle Mills, who does pick up a wicket. A bad catch from Harris, that ball's getting a little dirty. Wouldn't be too easy to see behind point, but Yuvraj Singh goes playing the right sort of shot. 284 for four. Bibis Lakshman has come out to replace Yuvraj Singh. off the mark straight away they're losing a few wickets at this stage which is quite uh, understandable they are looking to get beyond 300 that's an impossible target for New Zealand it's gone with the spin it's a slow delivery Tuffy stops it inches from the ground 289 for four always taken like this opportunity shy at the stumps. We haven't seen much of Craig McMillan this afternoon and this evening. He doesn't seem to have had the ball following him too much, but this is an opportunity. He's clearly been out. Fortunately, McMillan's there to back it up. Bad delivery and punished. It's four more to India. Cyrus is going for the Yorkers, it's uh, just a hit of reverse swing on it, but he gets it very wrong, it's full. No way I'll drop his leg stump and players of his players do not miss opportunities like those. That was in the slot to hit. The cover drive now. Get a couple of runs. Need a problem for New Zealand. It's a good looking shot and it's cleared the field up in the day. It's an amazing shot, in fact. It's just a copy with drive hit for a six. Two, three hundred for four. Okay, dragged it on. Well, that happens towards the end of the innings. Olivia Slashman has dragged one on why the off stump. He went after it, went after it hard to throw it bad at everything. Looking to hit uh, towards extra cover. Side edge onto leg stump. Daryl Duffy will be pleased with that. We get 303 for five. Daryl Duffy. Yeah. Again, I hear the bales being knocked over again by Daryl Duffy. Just out of the reach of the fielder. Has it gone all the way? David Shepard walking in the direction. First, uh, let's know from the fielder what he thinks. And then he'll go upstairs. Beck Phillips says, I don't know. I don't think there's another player in world cricket who is as powerful through the offside as Raul Driver. Now, that's a wide ball. He had to reach out for it, and yet this. Go for six or nine. Now it just lands us inside, but it's that's a still a big hit out there. That's a second big hit over Wise Mid off we've seen. Such a difficult place to hit with power. Yes, you can hit on the leg side with power, it's where all the muscle groups come into play, but offside, you've got to have timing. It's gotta come back for the second. Mohammed Gas cannot come back. Nobody can. In fact, he slipped in the attempt to come back. Oh, look at this hit over the top. Reaching out, it's not really even in the power zone. And you don't put fields out there because people can't hit them out there, except this man. Three overs to go, 305. A high pull toss. And Rahul Dravid has latched onto that one. This 
confess, haven't seen Rahul Dravid bat in this fashion for a long, long time. This is a cameo from Dravid, something that you don't expect from a man of his class. It's more of a disciplined, steady effort, but that's a third big blow from him. Well, in that case, he needs to do more of it. Gets it in the hitting zone. That is a baseball shot, almost like a baseball pitch. Keeper chases this, they only pick up one. Good work from McCullum. But Oram needs to get the radar going. Balsam York is there. So, some power over extra cover and power over square leg. And then all that, I would just wonder. Oops. But the Hari Aaron may have just missed out on calling that a no ball. Seemed like a pretty high full toss. Well, that would be rubbing salt into the wound, wouldn't it? <laughs> yes, you've been hit for six, but it's an illegal delivery. Actually, you did check with Dave Shepard and uh, Shepard was OK. <laughs> Rahul Zabit has moved on to 27 of 13 balls. What an innings it's been. I think at the right time for India, just capitalising on a great foundation laid earlier. And it was very uh, quick build-up that India had in this inning. Sehwak Tendulkar, with lower order, complementing the batting effort at the top. Another gorgeous shot through the covers. This is turning out to be splendid innings for Rahul Dravid. This is just fantastic stuff on the former skipper. Once again, it's a length ball from Oram, not a Yorker. And that's the power zone. Come on, Jake. He's hit you there before. The fine sweep. That's gone for four as well. So this is the biggest over by far of the innings. Don't forget, Jacob Oram has given 20 runs in one over in this tournament. Well, Lake Carabat sits up to be hit. Uh, this is not the time to get funky with this sort of stuff. Just by lost stump Yorkers, that's all you have to do. We've already got 320. Well, we'll finish up and Jacob Oram celebrates that dot ball. Two of us to go, 326 for five. Breaking the pattern. That's another four. Now, this is uh, just an incredible innings. The strike rate at the moment for Rahul Dravid is 235.3. Well, the shot all around strength here. Look at those wrists. It's the power and time. Pass point. Too much width, Darrell. You've got to bowl it closer to the batsman. Let's off stump Yorkers. This is not rocket size at this part of the game. Boy, this is getting better. One bounce into the side screen. Mohamed Kev joins the party. I forgot Mohamed Kev was batting there for a moment. Once again, width to work with. Well, a terrific shot. That sort of whip gives the batsman room to free the arms, make a big arc, get a bit of bat speed, and they've been getting some speed. There we are, another four. It's become predictable at this stage. Full toss. Once again, width. This is a part of their plan to buy a wide of our stump, but it's not working. Plan B. And I think uh, that's 16 runs from that over after a 17 run over. 342 for five. After this over, because they are in sick shape. Oh, well, you know, Yorker. 
and just a single. Oh, that's high again. Has he got the distance? Harry Haran nods and the arms go up. It's another six for Dravid and this is the highest total in the tournament. Took a bit of pace off it and Roll added the pace back on. Furious for not being able to do better with that last ball, drop it. He's certainly setting high standards out there. Well, that was a ball before. That big advertising balloon was a little bit further to the left. May have been in trouble. Dravid was very close to getting the quickest 50. The quickest 50 for India has been scored by Ajit Agarkar. 50 of 21 balls. Norman Kaif gets a single. He still has a chance, Dravid, to get the second quickest 50 along with Sehwag and Kapil Dev for India. Scoop square drive. He will get the second run. So that's the second quickest 50 for Rahul Dravid and India's second ever quickest 50 and isn't he pleased he has the right to be John Wright not normally very expressive but you can see he, the man is pleased and so are these boys five fours three sixes Mohammed Kaif just performed his role beautifully he got 15 of nine without being noticed a Dravid explosive and to follow Tendulkar and Sawag and to be remembered you had to do something special this man's done it India 50 overs have got 353 for five. Just what India needed. Just about half an hour's time. And for those of you who joined just now, it's an over for all 50. Forget that. They can celebrate. It's a long way away. Zahir Khan will start proceedings. Chris Nevin will strike. Wave is alive, just gets away because there is protection in the deep. Devin gets off the mark. Ball no, 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 no. will dip in on the opening pair of these two. There's a misunderstanding. In fact, Devin was looking for the single. Lou Vincent said no. Lines up at Eden Gardens on Tuesday. Big appeal. Harry Harrell taking his time. Well, the indications the keeper didn't move. The left arm over. Was it pitching in line? Quite close. Just a confusion of bat and pag together here. Now I think it might be an inside edge of a good decision. We just try hard to get forward, which you must do. And just a bit of bat on it there, so good decision. Those behind the wicket wouldn't have known there was an inside edge. It wasn't much, so they good. Gets off the mark and in great style. Lou Winston in the slot, making full use of it. First boundary for the Black Cats and first one for Lou Winston. Trying to get off the mark. Up full, which you need to be with the new ball. You can afford to attack with a still swing. It's a short back lift. Very efficient stroke. He gets all four. Running the first one hard, Agarkar charging it, just keep it a single, first over gone, but six for no loss, up to Lou Vincent. Good swing there and called a wide. He's not exactly sure how much this will swing early on. Oh, swing and a miss, very close to the line that he bowled the last ball, but this wasn't called a wide. Well, I think it's the identical line, but that went over the bat, and the bat was over the That's again, a bit of swing. Grab with the man behind the stunts. 
Etched past the and it's taken slip. Interesting. Ajit Agarkar is getting a little bit of swing. Well, that's a beauty. There is enough swing. He's got to get the line and length in order. And he could well have a handful of wickets. Ajit Agarkar. Looks for wickets. Even though he's on the expensive side as far as the economy rate. Really doesn't matter. Dismiss the top order. Giving the charge and he's gone. Ajit Agarkar draws blood blood. And he deserved it. Just a bit of swing. And the length was good. And New Zealand have lost the delivery. It's appeared, but it's almost stumbled over his own feet. Very poor shot that. Not too many options when you're chasing a big score. Chris never goes a bowl. Eight for one. It's in the air. And one bounce into the fence. It's an area where Lou Wilson likes. Always the chance to clear. Just three men on the leg side. Yeah, not good bowling. Just liking the control. We're used to seeing Zahi come with such pinpoint control. He's not quite sure how much he's spinning. And this one swings down the leg side. The player to miss again. Much better delivery. Three is gone. 15 for one. Oh, that's a better shot. Well, it's so well struck with his four. I thought that was going straight to third man for a moment. Ball at a fair Chris Priest, 138. Coming on to the bat, standing tall in the shot. A little bit of swing giving him the width. And great strike. That's a wonderful delivery. He's got the bats and thinking. The outswinging off cutter. It's reasonably difficult to play. Great seam, swings away a little, just straightens up back off the seam anymore and takes off stump. I really like the way Ajidake goes about his job. I'd like to see him open all the time. Good over. Good over. Four is gone, it's 19 for one. Magnificent shot, this stand and deliver. Four written all over it. And he's looking in very good touch. Take the head from Zai here because there was a lot wrong with that. That's a drive very much on the up. All the high over is gone. 24 for one. Well, that's a good shot, and he's given him. Just as I mentioned a little earlier, it's the leg that's the key for Ajit Agarkar against the man who gets across on the front leg. Great delivery. Chris Harris, another disappointing outing in the middle, has to take the long walk back. Well, it's a terrific delivery. Starts out, pitches middle straight. I mean, that is absolutely plumb. David Shevin, no hesitation, went up with the appeal because that's hitting middle three quarters away up. New Zealand now 25 for two. Star is the new man in. Made a superb innings in Kadak. Has the ability, but can he do it tonight? thing for me not only is a useful customer with the new ball but he can bat the superb fielder Ajit Agarkar he's a permanent fixture or should be well that's a glorious shot superb stop Robert Kev, not to be left out retrieved by Karthik Mulli pick up a singles 26 for 2 Star is the man he's gone up in the field Umpire Hari Harin, not interested, change in commentary, it's going to be Danny Morrison, with him is Sanjay Mansreka. Played the shot well, Lou Vinson, looking to hit on the up to even short balls, gets onto the front foot, hits on the rise. So it's a side pad, and we'll go for four to finish the seventh over. 32 for two on this trip, not in the test series as well as in the one day tournament. Interesting shot, four runs. Very short outside the off stump. 
couple of years, Scott Styrus, really loves to go for a pull shot that is often in front of mid-wicket. So not so much the hook shot, but it's a real powerful, menacing pull shot. And he's had to fetch this from a long way outside off stump. But it's the length that's the key for Styrus. Really likes to go for that. The rest of it's pretty average. He's found the gap. That's going to go for another four, the second of the over. The nature of this outfield, how quick it is, and how small the boundary is as well. It goes past that 30 metre circle, almost in a flash, it has reached the rope. Once again, he's just played through the offside. Scott Cyrus is looking dangerous. He's a man in form for New Zealand, mind you. Well, it's going to be slightly up there with a bit of width. I think this is the key. It's the way to go for Spiros. He figures, oh, 354 is a long, long way off. And it's going to take some, well, immense piece of magic to get New Zealand home. So it's not impossible, but really... Yeah! Performance. Good shout. And he's certainly not out. Just outside the line. It's pitting... He's eight inches outside the leg time. He looks at where the ball has hit the baton on the pad. It's gone in the air, but fair amount of bat on it. That will roll on to the practice pitches, and uh, after that, it's only four. And if you've got a little bit more cleaner with the uh, execution on it, you just see the bat swivel in the hands there of Lou Vincent. Trying to go inside out and over the top. It's the right option. And it's pitched outside. He's given it though. Wow, wow. I thought this was shaping down the league side, but he's got the league before Vincent, and he's got to go. You've got to know how you are in by now. He started nodding the moment the ball hit the pad, and when he starts nodding, you've got to see the batsman is in trouble. Oh, just pitching outside the leg stump. Doesn't matter where it was heading after that. There it is, the nod and the side-on decision. 48 for three, Craig McPhillip. Best of 105. Oh! Also with a shot delivery, and the on fire. And it's quite acceptable, Danny, when you thought the uh, shouldn't have been given out with the blue mat. We'll get an idea, just pitching outside legs. I mean, I wonder, it, it was also going on to hit the stumps. So I just thought that I'm probably just going to be hugging down the leg side. But in the end, it wasn't a bad shot. Thought about a bye. Nine overs Go gone on. here. New Zealand 48 for three. Another look at that leg before. Well, I think it was clearly missing leg stump. Slow delivery picked up early by Scott Cyrus. This continues his uh, great form in this uh, little inning, Scott Starris. That's his fourth boundary. Because he just flicks through that bottom hand. It was slightly slow delivery. Calls early Scott Starris. Gets a single. Tenduka with a boundary. And off for the game for you is a bit easier than that. It's pretty easy there for Craig to shoot the wide and says thanks. He's gone five. Morley Karthik will stop that. A couple of more runs to New Zealand. We've got to say reading the pitch is a bit like rocket science. Not easy. Good shot. Got into a great position, Scott Cyrus. 66 for three. Back to domination here. Yep. You see, this is still good carry. Uh, you've had first use of it. 
He had a good delivery. The length is good. He's getting some movement in the air. Kudra is the man on. He's in terrific form, Scott Styrus. Really got to think now. The mid off field the long off. Oh! Could be a close shot, but it's on the party first. And Kumble was absolutely convinced that he had his man, but not so with David Shepard. <laughs> Well, she knows it's close, but you're giving the bat, batsman a bit of a doubt. Is a bit of bat first. Well, it's all bat on the pad and ball around there. I can understand why. This style is down the wicket again in the air. Just clears the circle. This might be cut off. Well, it should have been cut off. So the fielder had long off is there, but there's nobody had long on. It was important that he just manages to go over that mid on fielder, which he did, and that was pretty sloppy stuff in the end. Oh! Ah! Be outside the line. It's a good decision. It's just too close uh, to make any kind of a decision, and if there is any doubt in your mind, he's also fairly forward, cuts a wide no run there. 78 this way. Original to land this time has gone over the top, the outside edge, and gets four for it. And he, this is hard to defend, it's really a thick top edge. The race is over at the top of the first of its head. It wasn't aimed there, it was aimed somewhere down the ground. Quickly onto the 38 here. of success. Fortunate for him that Murli Karthik couldn't quite reach it. That's a more orthodox stroke from the Indian bowlers and a bit of a ball work from Sachin Tendulkar so far. And now with the first 15 overs expired, a little fumble there but the black caps don't take advantage of it. A couple of tenths less and you can see there's a little bobble not that easy out there. Well, Sachin probably wouldn't know. He doesn't field that far from the bat most of the time. Yep. I mean, two if they hurry. They do hurry. They turn well. That was the key to that too. He's got a good arm, Ajit. Whips in the throw. But Staris is very quick indeed. Another single save, a successful over in many ways, really, a 96 for three. Very, very boring. Now, if Pilkovic starts going, getting going, his legs, going, 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 the batsman just better watch it. The ball. Well done, your way, brilliant, your way. That's great feeling, your way. Much better over, at least from one of the Because I think he slowed it down, there's a bit of grip there. In the air again, the long line, but Willie Kartik gets it on the second bounce on this occasion. Into the over, 99 for three. Ball with. Yeah. Oh, New Zealand has come up. Pretty obtrusively, but this one's a bit of hurry for. A direct hit may have done it. 
A direct hit is a real problem here for Scott Styrus. You see the throws only from 35 yards. Pick up just a single here to win. Another tiny team over. 105 for three. Being a deep straight, and that one's ease between the gap. So well between the gap, in fact. But the full toss has been punished by a boundary. Slightly premeditated, came down, got the full toss, really put it away in style. Style is looking ominous at the moment. Spotted up in the air, and that will bring the half century for Scott Styrus. Not in the most dramatic or eloquent of fashions, but very effective nonetheless. Just the kind of innings New Zealand needed from him. 50 or 43. So many runs from, doesn't get it right. And Roll Driver takes a reasonably easy catch. Big blow for India. New Zealand, the big scorer gone. Bit of turn there, couldn't quite control it. And Rahul Dravid accepts it gleefully and he knows he's got the big one. McMillan gone for 20, it's now 110 for four. Black Cat Skipper comes to the crease a little earlier than he would have liked. He was the man for the job about three for 200, but it's just four for 110 at the moment. And all Kumle has just struck a length. He's turned a couple just enough to make the batsman think, and this one turned a fraction. It's that turn that he's getting, and the ball is holding up a little bit now. It's the one that he couldn't quite control. Anil Kumble, once he starts turning the leg breaks, can be a really difficult customer to handle. Oh. Robo Glover, Kumble Glover, India, 110 for four. Molly Kartik begins his first over, replacing Sachin Tendulkar. And there's that sweep again. Well, the Kiwis are keen on that, and this time they'll score off it. Just a single. And just to join you for the next 30 minutes or so, you've got Danny Morrison and Lachman Ashinarama Krishna. Thank you, Jeffrey Lawson. And Nelson is up for New Zealand. 1 1 1 for 4. Craig McMillan. For a moment there, he didn't know where it went. Premeditated sweep, and it has been productive for him over here in India. Not tonight. Ian's thought about it as well there for a split second, was thinking about that sweep. Tendulkar's got a bit of work to do. And does it well. Come back for three. Gets off the mark, Chris Gaines. Table of playing the big innings and the big shots. A lot depends on him. Tendulkar in person. Good work. about two but it's not there Come on over's gone it's 118 for four oh, yeah, boys. he's pushed us through he's getting a bit more confidence here Kumble and oh, no. over the top and gone Ajit Agar for as easy as you like Styrus is out of here there's always on the cards when you take a spin bowler who has the ability to beat you in the air and get some deviation off the pitch. There's every chance he's going to pick up a wicket. Seeing the batsman come down, had to make the adjustments. Murli Karthik pulling it a wee bit back. Doesn't get the elevation. And Haji Tagarkar has got superb pair of hands. What a delight. A bundle of joy is Murli Karthik. Picks up a wicket in his second over. Star has gone for 54. 118 for 5. Jacob Owen has joined Chris Keynes. Oh, we've got a wonderful 81 in Pune against Australia early on in the tournament. And he is here because Scott Styrus didn't quite get the shot. Yeah. 
We'll look for the single, and we can strike the 221 for five. purposefully played, just opened the blade there nicely and has got four for it as the Mexican wave goes around the green. But look at it, it's just opening the face of the bat. Anil Kumble provides you the pace. As long as you give it direction, get in the right areas. Plenty of runs to be picked up behind the wicket. Ah! Anil Kumble again impressed it. Could be leg buys. Well, maybe seven seven five. Five. The way in which they've played in the game here today. The reverse. Effective. Very good results. Oh, the bowler. This is a superb so this sweet. And to play it so early. Well, it's only Oran's delivery. But if New Zealand are going to threaten anywhere near India's total, they have to do. No! A bowl. 133 for five. So you're giving away some little trade secrets here for Anil Kumble. I hope those Australians are listening. Lovely ball. Just there, just drifting and going across the left-hander. Outside edge. 136 for five. It's an absolute mile off. And he's going to be stuck. Jacob Bourne. Now there's almost a run out. He was so far down the wicket. And well rather the easiest of stomachs. Good work by Rahul Dravid this time. Not the easiest of stumpings, mind you. Even though Jacob Warren was a long way down, getting in between the bat and the pad. Enough time, Dravid. Excellent piece of bowling from Murali Kart. He has been a sensation. But to me, he's the best left-arm spinner in the country. Warren born, 136 to 6. The wicket keeper, Brenna McCullen. Telling the you two work together the same company. No! Oh, you guys, you just got to relax and get away from the old teammates. Yeah! Really even. It's all the answer on the pitch. Consistency. 138 for six. Chris Cairns quiet. The strike got around 145. Disintegrate. Oh! Big like appealing, don't you? Especially Anil Kumble because he bowls stump to stump. He's not a big turner of the ball. The extra bounce certainly will have gone over the stumps. But a little bit of excitement every time Alex Winner bowls. Oh! Well, this time. The slips is going up, not the next minute. 139 for six. No, no! Robert there quickly on the ball. He's got to spare a moment for somebody like Murli Karthik. So he would be given the message in no unclear terms that your performance will be watched. And so, so goes for the other players as well. Bowling. Another okay. good over comes to an end. 141 for six. And the required rate is Dead. enormous. Yes, to be exact, more than 10. Whoops. Turn there for Anil Kumble. Saw so Anil Kumble practicing in the morning, trying to bowl a little round arm so that he could get that kind of turn. Well, it's Rahul Dravid's day. Just have a look. And then they have them on the mat. 143 for six. Oh, no great magic money, uh, just uh, great leadership. Not a bad shout. Just a little line. 143 for six. Orly Karthik now in his sixth over. Hit with a lot of power to long off. Excellent fielding, although the batsman will get two runs. Oh, that's a clean hit. 
boy he is the master of uh, six hitting Chris Gaines seen a few in this match this is New Zealand's first and he's taken this from his daddy Lance Gaines he used to hit big ones really this man whoops he is powerful always a clean hit when Chris Gaines is hitting Whipping the bail off uh, Rahul Dravid. David Shepard's uh, concern about the bails coming back from the stars. Not going to be referred and rightly so. It's gone for the sweep shot. Anil Kumle, man in the deep, does well. With the applause of everybody on the field. The Saurabh Ganguly does to this team. We've never seen them fielding so well in this triangular series. Look at this here. What an effort. Fantastic. Get a single Chris Gaines. Part of the second. 154 six. Kumle gets a wicket and uh, it's a good one. Chris Kane is walking back to the pavilion. Yes, yeah, Sunil Kumle in his last over. He's already has had one wicket before this one. I saw him coming, uh, stepping out and trying to make room there. Pitched it a little short. Couldn't time it too well. And that's the seventh disaster for the Kiwis. 23 for Chris Kane, 154 for 7 New Zealand. Daniel Vittori enters a very festive atmosphere here at the Lal Bahadur Shakti Stadium. Every time there's a fall of wicket, change over. And the local DJ, the DJ at the ground, has been picking up some very nice numbers. And there was one very good, especially number after this wicket. No problem there for Zahir Khan. There is an appeal there. He's gone up for everything, Anil Kumble. Yes, Sanjay is a very intense cricketer. I've seen him bowl at the nets. You've uh, toured with him quite a lot. He doesn't like to give away anything in the nets as well. And that's the character he carries on to the field. Got 315. No! End of the over, 165%. Required rate now, 11.06. You've got him with his very slow left arm spinners being introduced is the one used at the moment. Oh. And a little bit of mix up here, but I run easily in the end. In the ribs, 157 for seven. Oh. Uh, he's looking very good indeed. Just the self-confidence that's growing with Murli Karthik. Sanjay has got a fantastic body language as well when he walks back. You can see that he's thinking what he's going to do when he bowls the next delivery. That's very important. Oh. 158 for 7. Well, Karthik will continue into his ninth over. 2 for 33 for him so far. Got it. A lot of positives. Plus points for the Indian team in this Come game. Well, they've not only batted extremely well, the bowlers are doing the job. Kumble 2 for 36 in his 10. Murli Karthik bowling well. Sachin Tendulkar is the star of the show in the morning. Beg your pardon, the afternoon. 102 of 91. Bowl 5 overs, useful overs. Yep. Only one, only one. Oh, oh, looking for the second. It decides against it. Most cricketers will be very high on confidence going into the final, picking at the right time. Singles will, singles will come quite easily. It's 176 for seven. Rising back and forth. Facing time to bowl for Yuvraj. Asking right. Another ridiculous uh, just over 15s. Yes, Going for the reverse, Daniel Vittori. Has he made good contact? Yes, he has. 
in a way to end effective is Daniel Vittori. Just enjoyed the look on the bowler's face. One of disgust. Couldn't believe the tail end of Dan Vittori could get it that fine and play it that well. And just happy to oh, have some time in the middle. Noodle it round. 183 for seven. Into his last over, Murli Karthik. A bit of his understanding. Be close and throws good, but it isn't. And also, just uh, well, just to keep your levels up, your standards. You don't want to get too sloppy here, India. And then the spinners. Anil Kumble was a little expensive earlier on, but eventually ended up with two for 36. Black caps, Saul and Black. Quite, uh, well, quite appropriate, really. All on black morning. 185 for seven. No! And just at the right time. But uh, they're enjoying themselves out there, India, because uh, they've completely outplayed the New Zealanders. It's the last league game. Oh, the one that the New Zealanders are going to lose. Single to keep strike. 187 for seven. Sachin Tendulkar has come on. Mix up the line. Should be out. And they're going to go upstairs. I think Daniel Vittori could keep going to the dressing room. Well, Shepard was looking at Daniel Vittori, expecting him to carry on walking. Danny, for a moment, just stood his ground, Daniel Vittori. That's prompted Shepard to ask for the replay. Assistance being asked. Shivaram, the third umpire, the local man from Hyderabad. But Vittori is quite convinced that he's gone. But you still have to wait. The third umpire, Yuvraj, the fielder, both men at the same end. Wasn't a very good throw away from the stumps. Tendul, he got some time and he's gone, is he? I think so. Yes, he's gone. He's gone by a yard. So the eighth wicket falls for New Zealand. Dave Shepard was in a very good position. Just look at the umpire getting into a nice position and he's gone. The red light comes on. Vittori gone for 19. It's 1878. Kyle Mills, the new man in. 24 years of age, 24 matches. It's an average of 10.64. Bowling! Exciting. Tendulkar is excited for the leg breaks for the first time today. Yuvraj Singh, quick on his feet. And Dan Vittori shaking hands with Brendan McCullum down the other end. And Sachin Dendolka did the rest. Andrew Simons will seem up, then off spin. Oh! So we thought uh, John Buchanan sticking the cue from the Indian prodigy, genius Tendulkar. He's trying everything, trying to match. Oh, yeah! I know! We'll be surprised if they do. Just uh, surprised many millions around the world by pulling it off. Come back to that. It's 188 for eight. And Zaire Khan comes back into the attack and plays a Yuvraj Singh. at night and you're running in but uh, Anil Kumble mate you should have done better than that just moves away from it there last split second day nine at Eden Gardens really looking forward to that one yep we'll retain the strike McCullough 191 for eight about a double wasn't there 
Oh, most definitely. From uh, India's perspective, wouldn't they love this game to be mirrored for Tuesday afternoon and evening? A few wides here and there. But Generally, they have been dictating terms. Bound to have a bad game at some point in time. We'll do that in a minute. Tendulkar, not a bad delivery. Firmly struck. But Cullum has moved along nicely to 26. Well, two things are going to be important. It's the toss for one one thing for sure. The second thing is the attitude. We've seen Adam Gilchrist and Matthew Hayden come out very positive and dominate from ball one. That will bring the 200 for New Zealand. It's 200 for eight. We've been up in long numbers. No! We're waiting for us to get into the ground. Had to work very hard for the tickets, but I'm sure they would have enjoyed each and every moment of the game. No! Look at the balance with the spinners. Now, unfortunately... Yes! Grievous delivery. Just getting up a little too early is Rahul Dravid, so the more he keeps, the more he works on it in practice sessions, will be better for India. Got a bit of wood onto it, boundary to end the over. It's 205 for eight. 205 for eight, 45 overs have been bowled. New Zealand require 149 from 30 balls. Run reach required, 29.80. Well, to take you through the last final moments of the play, it's going to be Jeff Lawson with him, the Sanjay Manjrekar. Yes, it seems like a pretty steep target required rate, 30.62, especially when you've got two wickets in hand. A look at this one whether it was the wrong one from Tendulkar. Yes, it was. Gets that wrist into a great position to get that googly. He's got the full repertoire, Satch. And uh, big Kyle Mills. He doesn't see too many googlies in any case. Raul picked it though. Still searching for his first wicket, Tendulkar, 208 for 8. Zahir Khan gets a good delivery, leaving the right hand up. As your uh, black cap batsman might be meandering along, but this is good practice for Zahir Khan. He hasn't been in great form. Very wide stance. Another ang angled delivery by Zahir Khan. I said this one's going to die. Batting on 31. Yeah! Good delivery. Nipping back. The nod comes in. That's dangerous for the batsman. They spotted the nod. Batsman was in trouble. Zay Khan has picked up another wicket. His second. McCullum, I would say, is not too happy. I think he's entirely not happy. I haven't seen a replay yet, but this is why he pitched outside. Leg and missing leg again. But we'll get another look. Let's see what this pitch is. Well, that's the outside leg stump, and it's too high, so <laughs> that's not even worth a feeling for, I don't think. It does is a pretty poor decision, but makes no difference to the game. 208 for 9, New Zealand. Daryl Tuppy, the last man for New Zealand. Played competently on that occasion by Daryl Tuppy. So one wicket did go for Indians, and Zayu Khan picks up his second wicket. The ball that is uh, pitching outside the leg stump to start with, and also the height factor, as Jeff Lawson explained, hitting him the inside thigh. Brendan McCullum is not happy, and it's fair to say, I think Hari Aran has not had such a good game. A 
again, the nod comes and the finger goes up. There's no doubt about where the ball was heading this time. The last wicket for India and New Zealand have been dismissed for 208, which means India win the final match in the league stage by 145 runs and they have secured their berth in the finals, the Eden Garden with Australia. When you play back, you're much more likely to be given out, even though that's pitched outside league stop again. That's hitting the stumps this time at least. Look, Dugley. The Indians celebrate when they gather in their huddle and uh, look forward to the next match, feeling much more confident with the state of their play. The security guard also get their own huddle to protect the Indian huddle. So their uh, India win by 145 runs and it's a typical Indian performance, Dev, when pushed against the wall, they come up with their best. They won the toss, batted first, it's been their match right from the start. Again, yeah, they have started through this competition, but today that was set alight by their batting, and uh, their batting has been slightly inconsistent. But today, they made the big score that makes winning one day cricket so often easy, and allows your bowlers to operate a little less stress. And uh, Sachin's performance was certainly a big part of that. A fitting game for uh, the Hyderabad crowd on what is likely to be the last match on this ground, the Lal Bahadur Shastri Stadium. New Zealand looking to score 354 to win, managed 208 with Scott Cyrus, their top scorer, with 54, and McCallum hanging in there for a long time for his 31. And all the bowlers did well. Zahi Khan uh, picked up the two late ones there to finish with three for 30. Once again, I was uh, very impressed with Morley Kartik. Very cool performer. Couldn't play good as well. Everyone did their job. So confirmation of what was going to be a critical game for both sides. It was the virtual semi-final as we've been talking. India have won the last of the league match comfortably. 353 for five batting first. And New Zealand falling short by a long way, 146 runs. And as a result, India qualified for the finals just to be played on the